Hello. Hello. Thank you for stopping by. And good evening, good afternoon, good morning. Okay. <clears throat> you probably must have read some of the stuff that I've been writing about blockchain and every other technology within this space. <clears throat> Today, I'm going to try to demonstrate with a simple app what we've been working on just to show you the possibility of <clears throat> introducing um, some of the features that will enable reversal or having the rogue nefarious, nefarious actor penalized in this space, especially the blockchain network. So if somebody is doing the wrong thing in the space, we can effectively reverse some of their transactions, for lack of a better word. So let's go ahead and crank this up and see how it goes. So I have two, two Android devices. Android mm -hmm. is a tool of choice for me. I like to say the weapon of choice. So I have this two of them, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to send money from one to the other. So um, I'm going to crank this thing up here quickly here. Pay attention as I go along, as I do this. So now I crank this up. That's the app running on that. And then I'm going to crank up the next one on the other phone as well. So pay attention to the first one here. So now I go to the messenger. The messenger is where all my text messages are. Yeah, you can see some of them that you not copy able to, to read because they're encrypted. However, as I send along the message, I'll also show you the default SMS messenger so you can get an idea of what's happening in the background. So to send money now, I'll go to the wallet. Okay, <laughs> I have 5,025 total balance on this one phone here. So I'm gonna use it. This is gonna be the phone A, and uh, I'm gonna send at least two thousand dollars from this phone A to another recipient. Okay, and let's say the person's email is this. We just this is an example. So we do have universal wallet address, which is actual actually alphanumeric character, special character kind of uh, formation. So we have to send this money to this number here. Okay, and that's all you need to do. And then you send it. It tells you that the user is in the network. That's great. Remember, this is a prototype. And right here on the next phone, what you get is uh, gibberish. Okay, this is what is actually being sent out. However, when you go to the messenger on the next phone and go to all SMS, you will see that you have $2,000 clearly there, but the rest of the stuff you really can't understand except for the email that it came from, okay? So you click reply. That's uh, a part of uh, the protocol we introduced, which we call ZKP, which is not, it's nothing new, but the way we implemented it uh, is quite uh, interesting. So we go back to the sending phone here, and you see cancel confirm. This is a confirmation of what was received, acknowledgement that was received from the phone B. We confirm that, okay? Once that is confirmed, the sender will also confirm. As you can see in the default SMS right there, nobody can read once on there, which is a big plus for the kind of technology the world is hoping to adopt or use blockchain 2.0 for. So now when I click this confirm, this transaction is completely confirmed all the way. And to prove that, I will show you a record of this transaction here. I'll open up the transaction record at the very bottom. You see right here, this is the receiving phone. As you can see right here, it tells you the sender, which is 763-568-4836. And the receiver, which is phone B, and it shows you the time, 2018-08-23, today is 23, and it tells you the time when it was actually sent. Okay, as you can see right there, 23-50-59, this military time, and you know what that is. 
So when we go over to the sending phone and we do the same thing, we run through the transaction on the sending phone, you see exactly the same thing. So now you see the time there, okay? Uh, this is the time when he confirmed this transaction. As you can see, there's a difference of about a couple of seconds when you look at the 2350, 2350, 59. This is 2350, 35. That's when the transaction, the, when he confirmed, finally confirmed uh, uh, a part of the in increment of the nuns. So as you can see here, there's a little difference in seconds, which proves it. And this transparency will help us in uh, assessing any vulnerability uh, in case of uh, uh, event of uh, incident where there's a compromise, uh, indicator of a compromise, all of that. It's, that's, these are some of the ways that we can reverse transaction. There's a sort of a channel custody that's maintained all the way. Uh, chain of data custody. So we've been able to accomplish uh, this stuff. Uh, some of the ideas that we were, we were espousing, you see. So when you go to your default SMS here, like here is the default SMS, and uh, you check the transaction, what's happened. I think this is the phone number here. You see, this is what you get. When it hits the carrier, they don't understand what it is. Nobody knows, no third party knows this. And this is the direction we wanna go on HP check. You can also note that it's all different, okay? And I'll make another video to show how the data, all the data is unique, even if it's the same amount of money next time. Take care now. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you have any question, call me and ask me, I'll tell you I'm willing to share the idea. I want to promote this idea and I want a lot more people to understand and um, see the work of the research over the years. 